Okay, we're back again. We have been trying to do this for a while now, okay? This isn't even something that should have even taken us on, but if you remember, you go back to the old days with my friend. We were trying to put on some charge pipes on this car from Six Element, and today is finally the day that we're actually gonna put this stuff on. So, let me show you what this stuff looks like. Here we go. We got this box. I've already done this unboxing before, so I'm really just gonna show you the pieces that come with Six Elements entire kit that you would get. So, we got new hoses. I'm gonna show you something else too after a second. More hoses here. As you see, these are all upgraded, much larger. Hey, one, of, and I'll talk about one of the benefits of Six Elements charge pipes compared to other competitors. Here, another, obviously this is like a reducer that goes down to the opening there. We have a little bit of branding on there. Another, another hose right there. Now we're gonna get into the charge pipe itself. So we're gonna unwrap this one and here we go. Nice crinkle black larger two inch, I think it's like 2.25 inch opening clamp that goes into the bracket. This is one piece here. I'm gonna keep that there. Now we're gonna grab the other piece. Here's the cold side, the other pipe that goes on the car, another crinkle black, nice stainless steel bracket there. Cool, that is inside the bag. Now. Here is the OEM one, because we already took off the hot side. Here is the OEM one, so you can kind of see the difference in size. See, you see that opening? See this opening here? This is much smaller in diameter than what we're about to put on the car. So what we're about to put on the car is in this diameter. See, as you can see the opening. There's a comparison on the ground. This is much larger of an opening Obviously, this is much slimmed down. This is one hard piece. We're going to use one of those silicon hoses there to kind of continue up into where the turbo is. But this right here, this is much larger. Same way with the cold side, which is still on right now. But this is what we're doing here. All right, so here's everything laid out. Like I said, old charge pipe. That's the hot side. You already can see how small that is. This is going to make a substantial difference in how this car performs. Now, also, we got, we changed out a little bit of the clamps. Now, I can't tell you if you can get these in your city because these are from an industrial place here in Houston, Texas, where they have much stronger clamps. Now, I will say this. If you buy a six element char uh, intercooler now and you get the charge pipe, they have changed the clamps that are originally on this car. Because if you listen or go see a bunch of installs, some of the people talked about the clamps not really holding it tight enough for the pressure. That's all been fixed. Six Element has shipped them with different clamps now. This was before that change happened. So we, my friend Chris, went out of his way to go find some different clamps from another company. So that's what these are right here. These are local. The difference with these is that it's gonna hold the pressure better, not gonna have any leaks. These are like industrial grade ones that are made for applications that have probably even a lot more pressure than we're trying to do inside of our engine. So this should be good. I might even change these two when I get a charge pipe and intercooler on my car. So that's what these are. So if you're looking at this package and wondering where can I get those, this is local or you can go on their website, which I mean, this is like a free, free promo for these people. The company's called HCL. So if you're looking for clamps of industrial strength or various different kinds, as you can see, all these are here right there. So here's all I want to talk about. So Six Element makes these charge pipes, right? But the reason why many people have talked about these performing really well when you put these on the car, because of the size of the diameter, okay? So this is like 2.25 inches. The stock charge pipes are like 1.75, 1.77. And a lot of the aftermarket intercoolers match up to that size. Now. I'm no engineer, but my opinion is 
if we're going to increase the airflow, increasing the diameter of the pipes kind of makes sense. And Six Element has a blog post talking about all the R&D they did of why they chose the size of this and why their intercooler has this size inlet piping. So if you're thinking about an intercooler, if you're thinking about airflow, if you're thinking about gaining a good amount of performance and just trying to increase what you already have on the car, then this is one of the few kits on the market that increase the size of it. Now you can get a few other companies will sell you larger inlet pipes, inlet charge pipes. However, the six element intercooler, their inlet on the car matches this. So that means if you buy the aftermarket six element intercooler, or I think Jackson Racing, they make theirs is like that. The inlets are two inches, or a little bit more, but they match up to charge pipes this size. Just, that's a little PSA. Listen, do your own research. I'm not acting like I'm the expert. I'm just telling you what my opinion is and what I think. So go look it up. We'll be back. All right, so we're under the car. All right, we already did most of the stuff to take off this, off these pieces because really, if you've been here before, then you already know that we put on this intercooler from Six Element before. So if you see, cold side is off. It's gonna go all the way up to the top. Of the, see that the opening up there, right there? That is where the cold side charge pipe is gonna go. And then it's gonna meet up with the intercooler down here, right there. Now for the hot side, let me show you that side. All right, hot side. So as you can see, that's the hot side for the intercooler. That pipe is gonna kind of flow down here. It attaches up there to this bracket. And then it goes all the way up to the top, which you might be able to see the opening. All right, it begins getting on this inlet pipe there yep you're on come on all right i need to loosen up the other side all right putting this putting this on for real you got a clamp you got them at the right height there double checking that these are the height you want them so that you can actually clamp it down from up top and not have to fight with it from another place and remember when you have this charge pipe on there is a bracket down there that needs to line up with the bolt so all this stuff has to be you know adjusted a little bit just so that you have enough space to put that back to where it needs to go here's another thing back down in this area is where you will see the last of the hose. See this, you're gonna get a silicon hose that goes on to the new charge pipe, and then there's another one that's gonna go back into the intercooler. Those are larger in size. So that's what you're gonna need to put on there so that everything is clamped together nicely, flows up here to this point right here. You can kind of see a little bit of the six element, little badging there, but almost done with the cold side. A little bit of ingenuity here see way down there is where the top of that clamp is so extensions are your friend okay we're putting on the hot side it's you know you already know it's on fire what can i say all right so putting in the hot side and yeah you really can't see nothing because it's all the way down at the bottom right there but just know that everything's going on smooth as you can see I'm here to report. So the in the charge pipes are on, as you can see, clean all the way to the top. See the little bracket that holds it there. You see all the way to the beginning up there where the new charge pipe comes all the way down to this new charge pipe there and the hose that goes into the intercooler. Just again, we are running the six element intercooler all this right here this extra thick core plus the six element charge pipe just in case you were wondering now flip around to the other side and there goes the hot side so same thing new clamps right there from that hcl company these are extremely good silicon hose charge pipe if you kind of scoop back and look all the way up following that pipe you can see where it goes all the way up there to the new inside of the inside of the motor 
all the way at the top i can't really show you that because it's literally just wired at the top but listen again easy install charge pipes are on there as you can see high quality going into the intercooler six element once again okay, so excuse me charge pipes are done we're now going to do a test drive here's why it's a big deal previously before when it comes to putting on these charge pipes on this car especially when it comes to like a gr corolla right there when you're putting on charge pipes on these cars or anything that's dealing with the intake the turbo inlet any of that stuff that's high pressure high charge you need to make sure this stuff is clamped precisely so we don't get air leaks so we're gonna go drive and we're gonna find out okay i'm here to report that the charge pipes make a noticeable difference from the the power delivery to how you feel the boost coming on the mid-range the top end there were a few people that talked about these charge pipes making a very big difference and i'm here to report that they are right it makes a huge difference the outro of this outside but like realistically it's a hundred degrees outside right now like straight up it's too hot but anyways charge pipes are on that's just a quick video me and my friend it was in, it was hot anyway we just wanted to throw it on see what it felt like i'm telling you it feels fantastic six element shout out to you guys i'm sure anybody else that got charge pipes are going to feel the same difference that is very much on the next list of the things i'm about to do i don't know if it's the next next thing but it's gonna be close like especially with how his car feels now with the intercool and the charge pipes he has a turbo inlet i mean the way that thing builds boost and acceleration i mean can't be beat i love it anyways there's gonna be another install coming soon this is just a quick little video i know somebody's gonna jump in there and be like yo you really show all the tutorials i'm probably gonna get the same setup and i'll dive deeper into how i want to show how i'm installing all this stuff but more is coming check the podcast i'll holler at y'all later peace out